Hello everybody. Welcome to the online session of Manu Law Classes. My name is Brijesh and I am the English faculty here. So in today's session, we are going to discuss some questions of the month. In this month, I have come up with again a passage followed by some conventional type of questions which are relevant when you are preparing for apart from CLAT that is ALIT and other law entrance examination. So as always this session is divided into two parts wherein in the first part i will be discussing about clad passages on the other hand in the second part i will be discussing about the conventional type of questions in the part b today i have taken match the column which are frequently asked in elite examination so let's begin but before I begin, let me tell you the admissions for one year program and two year programs are open. You're most welcome to Manu Law classes. For more information, you can visit at www.lawentranceindia.com. And if you want to talk to us for any query, clarification on the steps of CLAT preparation, or any inquiry you want to know about, or anything you want to know about, any law entrance examination feel free to reach out to us at 9971444054 so let us begin our session in today's session as you know that we are going to discuss a passage and i will be sharing with you some ideas how to do the passage as well as what are some important elements in the questions that you need to take a note of when you are reading the passage so there is the passage before you on the screen this this slide will be visible for you but first we will go through the question and then i'll be showing you the passage okay so let us start the first question says according to the passage why did jonathan leave fletcher so the word why tells you to go for the information which is implied in the passage not explicit okay what do you mean by explicit or implicit or implied basically explicit are the information which are clearly mentioned in the passage on the other hand implicit or implied are the information that you need to find after reading the passage and comprehending the passage well so whenever there is a question with why make sure you have understood the passage well and then only you attempt this question okay so what does the question say ki passage ke anusar jonathan ko aisa kyun laga ki ab use use chhod dena chahiye ya why did jonathan leave fletcher jonathan ne fletcher ko kyun chhod diya so there are two character in this question so here we get some point that we are going to study about some character and it is a story now question number two judging by jonathan's statement who did he think so whenever you have this word he you need to be sure that who this he refers to there are two characters one is jonathan another is fletcher so according to this question you need to find ki fletcher ka real interest kon tha according to jonathan right question number three says which of the following words is similar to the word shimmering as used in the passage is there a question may make sure you are looking for two information first thing is similar it means you need synonymous idea or synonym do not look for antonym students make silly mistakes if you do not understand the question well aapko kya hoga aap question mein antonym dhoondne lag jaoge kabhi kabhi antonym pucha hota hai aur synonym bacche dhoondne lagte hai so make sure you are not repeating this mistake if you have ever done so and the second information that you need to find is shimmering let's say you do not know the meaning of shimmering so what do you think you need to quit no you need to give it a try by reading the word in the passage and by seeing the line what its contextual meaning can be when you find this word shimmering in the passage so there are two ways to know a meaning first thing is to go for dictionary and the second is by reading the line and understanding the contextual meaning that is also one of the sources wherein you can find a meaning of the word okay question number four says what was fletcher's first lesson to the flock now fletcher ne pehla lesson kya diya flock ko so here the question starts with what is passage bhe maine questions kiya hai the question should be from implicit information from explicit information there should be some vocab based questions as well so isme hame ye dekhne ko mila that we have asked a question with what and what refers to the factual information so these kind of questions are quite easy i encourage you not to leave this kind of questions okay so uh, question says ki fletcher ka pehla lesson kya tha flock ko 
ओके जो इस भी झुंड को लीड कर रहा था नाउ कमिंग टू द लास्ट क्वेश्चन दैट इज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट बेस्ट समराइज इज द सेंट्रल थीम ऑफ द पैसेज दिस इज वन ऑफ द बेस्ट क्वेश्चन इन द पैसेज मेक श्योर आफ्टर रीडिंग थ्रू द पैसेज यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट वट दट द आथर वॉन्ट्स टू आस्क यू होता क्या है कि जो आइडिया दैट द जेस्ट हैज बिन डिस्कस इन द पैसेज द जेस्ट कैन बी एनी इंफॉर्मेशन और मैसेज दैट यू कैन थिंक बियॉन्ड द पैसेज इट सेल्फ कभी कभी जरूरी नहीं है कि यू हैव been asked question from the passage itself when it comes to uh, finding the theme you need to understand ki sabhi para mein aisa kya common tha jo poocha gaya hai is question mein okay so let us uh, go to the passage back i will be leaving this slide for you for 2 minutes and the another slide will also be left for you for 2 minutes and after that we will be attempting the questions so let us start
so i hope you have understood the passage well and now start answering the question question number first was according to the passage why did jonathan leave fletcher now I start reading the option one by one because you have already read the passage so first first option says he wanted to discover his unlimited abilities this was not the case so you can eliminate this option option number two he was a seagull and did not want to remain theater to the role of an, an instructor this was also not a case option number c he felt that fletcher needed a new instructor because the other seagull were spreading rumors about him this was also not discussed in the passage if you have read the options well now he felt that other flocks could need him more and that fletcher needed to find himself yes this was the option that you can mark it as correct option because it was mentioned in the passage question number two says judging by jonathan's statement who did he think was fletcher's real instructor so whether jonathan whether fletcher himself whether the flock of the seagull or lind so you can find this information through the passage that fletcher himself was the real instructor for himself okay question number third which of the following words is similar to the word shimmering as used in the passage so shimmering ka kya matlab hota hai little bit flashy shining okay so here coruscating is the word that is similar to the meaning of shimmering the other meaning you have to type in the comment below and let me know what do you think about this word and what are the meanings of these words so i'm leaving up to you you have to comment in the comment section below and tell me that what is the meaning of all these three words all right question number four is what was fletcher's first lesson to the flock okay let us read the options one by one he explained the rules for a loop to the flock no he taught them about the principle that every member of the flock must adhere to okay this is also not the correct one he told them that they were an unlimited idea of freedom and their body was thought okay this was also mentioned in the passage let us uh, put this option for consideration he told them that it is only by becoming their own instructor no this was also not the case so here you can mark option c as the correct option Question number five, the most important question and let us see what you think about it. So the body is only temporary and it is the soul that lingers. So this is not a correct option. Option number two, nothing that is word learning can be truly taught. Make sure that this information is not relevant even to the passage because nowhere it was mentioned. Okay, one must break free from worldly duties. Okay, this is also uh, not a correct option. Option number D, the discovery of the limitless nature of the mind and spirit. So I have incorporated the answers after this slide, but still let me tell you this whole passage is very motivating in nature and encouraging people to understand their potential by a simple story wherein he or she has taken the help of some seagulls and wanted to show you how you can be your own guide when you are running in life okay so i hope you have understood the passage well and i have i hope i have explained the questions also here are the correct rationals of the questions you can go through them one by one if you have marked any incorrect answer now moving forward to the part b of this lecture wherein i told you that i will be discussing with you about match the columns okay so what are some match the questions and that can be asked in a lit or other law entrance examination they can be from parts of speech they can be from vocab section okay so here as you can see it says for the word given at the top this is the word match the dictionary definition on the left so these are the dictionary definition of this word and here are some uses with their corresponding uses on the right out of four possibility given below in the table select one that has all the uses correctly matched dekho kabhi kabhi kya hota hai students neglect this information maybe they may ask you the negative means uh, antonym of the particular word so isliye it is very very important to go through this uh, instruction first and then come to the question so kaise attempt karenge is tarah ke question ko the easiest way to do it that read the usage okay because you know run down has several meanings in english okay so if you understand one by one you will come up with an answer the first one is my cat was run down by a bus so by this sentence what you can figure out is trace cannot be the correct option criticize also not but hit 
with a car can be the correct option so you can match c with e and now you need to find which option contains c with e so now you will see which options contain c e together that is a that is c and that is d so you can you can eliminate option number b at the first place now read the second option have you run down those addresses i asked for last week so run down here it can be trace criticize hit with the car campaign okay so trace is the correct option here and which is a f so you need to find where we find a f together so we do not find it here we do not find it here we do not find it here so luckily we do not need to waste a lot of time since we are particular about the option only a f is found here and we are pretty sure but before you mark just have a look how like a f all right a f and then b is h so b is h my father runs down everyone okay he, it is it means criticizing and then you have c e means hit with a car okay correct and d g campaign for the government position means suraj is running for the president in the club so you can easily solve these kind of question by just reading the options here because you cannot go directly and then find so read the usage first and then mark the correct option so here is another example of the same uh, question which was asked in ala 2016 so let us see what is the word here that is run off okay so run off has four meanings it can be make leave it can be reproduce it can be leave quickly it can be flow so how are you going to answer this by reading the option as i said so start reading the first option it says would you mind running off 20 copies of this document for me so what do you think about running off with 20 copies go through the option make leave leave quickly flow or reproduce so reproduce means to copy okay to copy again or make a xerox of something here b goes with e so we need to find where we find b e together so this one and this one so option a has b e and then option d has b e together so we can eliminate these two options here immediately okay in that way we will not get confused now read the usage number 2 that is you shouldn't swim where the dirty water runs off into the ocean so what does water do water flow okay so here d and f go together we need to find here d and f again here d a d and f f so we can find this combination of d f in option a also d f in option d also so now we need to look for another one why did you run off after the dinner okay so there are two option make leave or leave quite quickly so here c and g go together so you can find c and g here so now you can mark option number a as the correct one if you have some time you can also match with the option number d to f to flow correct okay so in that way you find that make leave a a goes with h h means the new government is trying to run the criminal off make leave correct so option number a is the correct option so this is not a hard and fast rule only i would say this is time consuming question even though you know the meaning you need to match and mark it takes time so a better practice is required here whenever you are solving the questions of match the columns okay they can take words from different sections of vocab it can be synonyms it can be endonym it can be one word substitution it can be phrasal verb as in this case so make sure that you are working hard on your vocabulary section okay i hope this session had been helpful to you do not forget to share this video with other students who are preparing for clear telet and other also subscribe to this channel and make sure you join our telegram channel where we provide a lot of passages in complimentary basis so that no any student leave behind when he or she is preparing for a uh, clear telet and other law entrance examination make sure you spread the word all the best